Hi guys, today's tutorial is going to be this reverse stamping gingerbread mani. And first off, I want to say if you're new to my channel, welcome. And for those that are returning, nice to see you back here. Don't forget if you do enjoy this tutorial to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid to leave them in the comment section down below. You'll also be able to find all the products that I have used for this mani listed below as well. Let's get started. To get this money started, I'll be going in with a white polish that I'll be using as my base polish color. This is Sinful Colors Snow Me White, and I will be using two coats of this polish for the base of my nail art. Once my white base has completely dried, I'm going to go in with my all-time favorite top coat from Glisten and Glow and apply to each of my nails. For this nail art, I'll be using this very cute ginger man, gingerbread man image from the Uber Chick Beauty Christmas 01 stamping plate. And as you can see, it does have a wide variety of very fun and festive Christmas nail art images. I do believe that they have recently changed the name of this plate, but don't quote me on that. I'll also be using my Big Bling Clear Jelly Stamper to pick up the image with. And the stamping polish I'll be using is MDU's black stamping polish. Yes, my bottle did have a little accident where one of the polishes broke and spilt all over it and I haven't been able to get it off. Once I've gotten the image picked up, I'll be going in with my What's Up Nails Pure Color Number 10 Detail Art Brush, and as I am by Fiendish, Fiendish Fancy's Brown Nail Polish to fill in the gingerbread man. As I always like to do before I do any type of nail art, I'm going to apply a latex barrier around my cuticle and this one is from Manny Moo Moo Mess No More. Before applying the image to my nail, I will be applying one very thin coat of a sticky base coat. This one is called Yellow Stopper. I did purchase this one from Sally Hansen, but fair warning, the big size that you saw is no longer available. They have discontinued it, and they only are now carrying the smaller sizes to the bottle. Now I'll be going in with my Twinkle Tea number two cleanup brush, lightly dipped in some acetone to just clean up around the edges of the nail before I remove the latex barrier just so that when I do remove it it doesn't peel off just so that when I do remove it it doesn't peel off 
the image from the reverse stopping that I did. And lastly, I'll be going in with my favorite Glisten and Glow top coat to apply that final coat of top coat to help to seal in my mani. And voila! Here is my reverse stamping Gingerbread Man mani. And here's the final look for my Gingerbread Man reverse stamping nailer tutorial. To be honest, I really do like how they turned out. I usually don't film reverse stamping manis, but I think I'm going to do this more in the future. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did like, and leave any questions down below. Until next time!